Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sports Talk and the Success Table. I am Zach Barnett. Let's get into this interview today. But before that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our up-to-date content. Let's get into Definitely. the interview. So uh, with the college thing on our minds, uh, what's your thoughts on the athletes getting paid on their likeness? I know guys like Vince Young, players like that, that are big time in college football. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's a si exciting time for them. You know, I just – my only thing that I pray for is that, um, you know, they have the right system around them and people around them to, to really capitalize on them. Um, you know, this is something that guys have been fighting for for decades now, for years, and to be able to see it come to fruition – um, we want to make sure that it's managed and handled right. We want to give the guys and the kids the resources they need to make sure it's successful because this should be a building block to when you're done playing football. Now you get to leave school with some cash in your pocket, with some experience, with some business acumen of being a brand and building a brand and, and marketing yourself. These are the same things you have to do when you go apply for a job with in a, a different company or, or or any place you want to work, you got to market and sell yourself to them. So to be able to have real life experience um, doing this and to play the game you love, I mean, this is a win-win. You know, for sure. The, this is like playing in the pros almost, but um, but at a minor league level because you're not making the same type of check. But at least you have something coming in um, that that's helpful and beneficial to you and your family and teammates. For sure. So uh, <clears throat> with your college career. What were some of the, the moments that stand out in your mind that or were some of your favorites? Uh, the Rose Bowl, obviously, you know, is definitely at the top of the list. Um, even just recruiting to Texas was amazing, but that Rose Bowl probably takes the cake. I just remember, um, you know, that's kind of like BY's coming, first coming out party before this, the follow up Rose Bowl. But, um, you know, my time at Texas was just amazing because, you know, watching all these guys and playing around with all these ballers that are going to the league, you're watching these guys go to the pros and you're seeing dreams get realized. You know, this is um, where Texas really has always been a big school, but this is really where Texas started getting all that recognition and everything because they were putting so many guys into the league. They're winning 10 plus games a year. You know, Mac Brown has the city on fire. You know, we're, we're getting the big shows of the world, the Corey Reddings, you know, the best players in the country are going to Texas at that time. So to be there during that era was just a huge and amazing moment um, in itself. You know, 6th Street, it, it was cracking. You know, <laughs> it, it was going down. You know, we, a town like that, that's a true college town, and to be winning and to have, you know, the support and the fan base that the Longhorns do, it was just an amazing time to be there. So, you know, the whole as a moment – is unbelievable and then one of those those things that you had to be here i'm glad and i'm thankful that social media wasn't around because we probably wouldn't have got to enjoy it as much as we did you know but we got to really enjoy it because you know we were living in the moment definitely man so uh <laughs> with your time at texas did that help you transition to the nfl in a uh, more uplifting way did that yeah, yeah, we were a bigger program, you know, we were coming from a big D1 program, you know, we got billion dollar donors, you know, like we got billion dollar endowments and, you know, you're shaking hands and you're crossing paths with all these guys, you know, while you're at Texas. So, you know, we, when you introduce these people um, in the pros, you know, the owner, the people, um, the companies that, you know, work with the NFL teams and the players, you know, you already kind of have been, uh, familiarized a little bit to a certain extent with the, you know, going to a big university. So it was definitely helpful from a football standpoint. We, we, we ran a, a pro style offense. It was, you know, it made you think we had to learn, you know, we had a real, um, you know, comprehensive playbook. So it, that prepared me for sure, uh, you know, with the new terminology and stuff uh, with the pros. Um, as far as the players are concerned, I mean, we practice against Derek Johnson, you know, every day. And then, like I said, Corey Redding and, you know, Michael Huff, you know, Griffin, you know, Terrell Brown, you know, all these guys going to the league, like this is what the league is. You're practicing against the best players every single day in practice. So 
the games are easy. You know, you're just um, – that definitely gave, uh, gave me a leg up. Definitely. I think the atmosphere at Texas, too, with the fans. There's uh, some crazy fans, man. It was hype, man. It was hype. And, you know, I got to my rookie year in the NFL was the year that Texas won against USC in the Rose Bowl. So I got to watch it from a, a fan's point of view that year. So, you know, I'm at the tailgate, you know, I'm enjoying myself. I'm on the sideline with McConaughey, Metcalf, Roger Clemens, like, you know, and to watch the guys come, you know, off the bus and, you know, I'm one year removed. So these are still like, it's like you're still on the team, you know, you know, to hug everybody and just to really watch the most iconic game um, from a sideline point of view and just to see it unfold at ground level and field level. Uh, it was it was amazing, man. Something I'll never ever ever forget. And I didn't even play in the game. I was just <laughs> on the sidelines, you know, with more money in my pocket than I was. You know, I'm happy as hell to be in the NFL, but it was still a great uh, spectacle to be able to witness. This concludes our episode today, folks. We greatly appreciate the support. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our up to date content. And if you like this video, hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. We welcome you back.